Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. New approval for Beeblow's drone flights in Canada. UPS Flight Forward partners with Wingcopter. And Continental Aerospace Technology names Robert Stopic as CEO and President. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. MBT Geo Solutions and Iris Automation have been granted the first Biblo Special Flight Operation Certificate by Transport Canada using only onboard detect and avoid. The approval was granted based on the utilization of Iris Automation's DAA system called Cassia, which provides commercial drones with automated collision avoidance maneuvers. The waiver permits flights within the UAS Center of Excellence's Controlled Airspace Remotely Piloted Aircraft System Test Range in Alma, Quebec. This is the first Biblos flight at the location, leveraging only onboard DAA for air risk mitigation, and does not require ground-based observers or radar. The first Biblos flights are scheduled to take place within weeks, and the resulting data will inform more complex Biblos operations in the future. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. Parrot has added enhanced flight data tracking to their ANAFI drone through a partnership with Drone Log Book, allowing pilots to keep track of their equipment's performance, schedule necessary maintenance, as well as record and report all pertinent information to comply with FAA regulation. Drone Logbook software, accessible through online software and mobile apps, allows pilots to automatically record crucial flight data, including flight time, GPS and altimeter data, weather conditions, airspace status updates, and more. A pandemic drone to remotely monitor and detect people with infectious respiratory conditions is being developed by the University of South Australia in partnership with Dragonfly. The drone will be fitted with a specialized sensor and computer vision system that can monitor temperature, heart rate, and respiratory rates, as well as detect people sneezing and coughing in crowds, offices, airports, cruise ships, and other places where groups of people may work or congregate. Yates Electrospace has announced the launch of a civilian subsidiary, Avias Air Delivery, to provide immediate air response for humanitarian relief efforts, natural disasters, and pandemics, such as the current COVID-19 crisis, based on the technology of the successful one-ton military resupply glider Silent Arrow. Silent Arrow offers a tightly integrated package with a spring-deployed wing system transported inside the fuselage, 40-mile standoff distance, and low unit cost. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. UPS Flight Forward and Wingcopter will partner to develop a next generation of package delivery drones. As part of this collaboration, both companies will work towards earning regulatory certification for a Wingcopter unmanned aircraft to make commercial delivery flights in the United States. The Wingcopter drone features vertical takeoffs and landings in tight spaces, transitioning to efficient, high-speed horizontal flight enabling ranges suitable for a variety of uses. Recently, Wingcopter delivered insulin to an Irish island in the North Sea that is frequently cut off from the mainland due to bad weather, and was able to set up an on-demand vaccine supply, delivering the urgently needed serums within minutes to multiple different health centers. UPS Flight Forward received Part 135 certification last September to operate a drone airline and has also completed drone deliveries under the FAA's Part 107 rules within the FAA's Integration Pilot Program. Continental Aerospace Technologies named Robert J. Stopic as its new CEO and president. Stopic was formerly the CEO for Waukesha Engine, part of the former GE Distributed Power business, prior to joining Continental. I am honored and energized by the opportunity to lead Continental Aerospace Technologies and help build upon its strong 115-year history of delivering excellence. I am committed to engaging with all of our stakeholders, including customers, regulators, investors, elected officials, and communities, to share our passion and vision with the flying community, Stopic stated. And that wraps up our show for today. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to AVSI.org and airborne-unmanned.net. If you're looking for a couple of laughs, be sure to tune in tomorrow for our annual April 1st edition of Airborne Unlimited. You won't want to miss it.